Howdy, fellas. Welcome to the stream. Good evening. Uh, tonight, we're just doing Banjo-Tooie because I was trying to get a bunch of other shit to work and I could not get it to work and we're late because of it. So hopefully I'll figure it out for tomorrow night. So uh, yeah, just one game tonight, but we're starting Jolly Rogers Lagoon, so that should be fun. Uh, before we start, I want to show you guys something because I learned how to do something. Also, Ralph, thank you for the sub. Uh, before when we got the gamer picks, I didn't know how to open the Xbox 360 dashboard, but now I do. So let's take a look at what the gamer picks are that we unlocked a few times ago. Settings. Profile. Now this is what Stop and Sh Stop and Swap gives you. Gamer zone. <laughs> Change gamer picture. Okay, here we go. Oh shit, look. Whoa. Oh man. I don't even remember one being this color. <laughs> What is wrong with this mumbo? What is wrong with all of these profile pictures? They look so fucked up. Is that devil boss? <laughs> but like, what? Is, that's not even centered. They're, they're so weird. These are so weird. But what is this mumbo? He just looks like slightly concerned. Devil bottles isn't even in the final game. We're going to use devil bottles though. Mike, most of these images are just from Rare Replay. Alright, well, I don't know. I'm picking this one. Now everyone on Xbox 360 can see my gamer pick. Change personal picture. God. No motto, no name, no location, no bio. Alright. Well, welcome to the stream. Uh, again, just doing Banjo-Tooie tonight. I had other stuff planned, but it didn't work, so I'm going to keep trying to do that, and then uh, hopefully it'll be set up for next time. Anyway, let's resume. Yeah, five hours already, and 29 jiggies. Not bad. Okay, so welcome back. Uh, how are you guys? What's going on? Let me just adjust the volume real quick. Mike, you have to customize your gamer profile so people know what kind of gamer you are. I was- I was under what? Uh, recreational gamer? You could set your type of gamer. Like, hardcore, recreational. Yeah, the official Stop and Swap logo is on my profile. Uh, but welcome back. Let's- let's head right over to Jolly Rogers because let's just do it. Sad gamer. Sad gaming moment. Sad gamer moment profile. Would I use the hardcore? I don't think I would use the hardcore one. Okay, so I think we've finished everything above the water, right? Like everything out here is done, I believe. That we can do now at least. Kazooie can't hatch the egg yet. Lua, thank you for the sub. And uh, thank you for the gift sub too. Uh, we took care of half of this water problem. Yeah, we sunified the water. I think that that's about it. So I guess we can just head in there. We also learned how to swim faster already. So uh, if you've never played Banjo-Tooie before, this above water section only makes up like a tenth of the level. The rest of the level and the main part of the level is all underwater in Atlantis. And uh, it's easy to get lost. And it's all underwater, and it's kind of frustrating, but let's just do it. Also, Gron, uh, John, Gron, John, thank you for the sub. Yeah, we made the water breathable, so at least we don't have to worry about that. Then there's this alien ship, and they're those fucking, these things. I think you have to shoot them with, is it ice eggs or any egg? No, any egg will do. Can I make a song request? Yeah, sure, go ahead. How are you guys, though? What's going on? Anything new? Anything exciting? Anything to report? The transformation in this level is a little- is- is kind of cool, but it- again, it's like... The fact that it's underwater kind of ruins it. Got a Cintiq. Got sick. I'm fine- I'm kind of feeling sick, too. I had, like, a real bad sore throat last night. Um... 
going bowling on Monday. Red that is getting blown on Monday. Yeah, there's like a few- I think you can fight the boss as the, uh, submarine. Oh, this fucking dude. You have to hit him right in the- right in the mouth? There you go. These octopuses are very, very annoying. Mike, I'm on an airplane. I've never been on a plane with Wi-Fi good enough to do anything, let alone watch a stream. Uh, alright, so this is kind of like the main area. There's like the mermaids with the different eggs you gotta shoot into them, and then there's the... Oh boy, there's a lot. Then there's all these, like, transparent fish that I think you gotta shoot Kazooie at. We have to learn that torpedo move. That's very important. Let's just grab these. Don't. Don't. Yeah, Atlantis is real. Okay, uh, let's see. We haven't taken off yet. Oh, okay. Could you just... Hopefully we'll have enough time. Can you play La Bamba? All oh, right, yeah, sure. I'll get right on that. Thanks for the song request. Anyone else? Just lining them up for later. Is this all connected to Kremlantis from Donkey Kong Land? Maybe. That's a possibility. Okay, so we gotta get Kazooie. Kazooie's the only one who can get inside them fish. La Bamba, but with banjo noises. <laughs> okay, uh... So, I think we can grenade our way into some of these buildings, maybe. I know one of these has got, like, a Jinjo in it. It's the one with all, like, the pools of water and the electric eels. This one. I think this has a Jinjo in it. The Seaweed Sanctum. How's the volume? Is it alright? Too quiet? Too loud? These alive. Not no more, they ain't. Also, that sounded like, uh, fucking. Uh, the, 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 what's his name? Why can't I remember his name? That's the same voice as, uh, Lord. Lord Fluffy. Like, the, the boss of Witchy World? Why can't I remember his name? That one's not real. The big inflatable wobbly thing. <laughs> I'm totally Mr. Patch. Yeah, okay. <laughs> I don't know why the fuck I forgot his name there. I like remembered his title, Strange Inflatable Wobbly Thing or whatever, but I forgot his name for some reason. Shadow Man, thank you for the sub. Uh, I could swear there was a Jinjo in here, and I feel like it's in a place that we can't reach yet. Mr. Patches. He's not even remotely fluffy. Puffy. Same sort of thing. Alright. Um, maybe there's a Jiggy in here too? I'm not quite sure. It's a little quiet. I can't hear La Bamba. Oh, it's playing. Don't worry. Pat. It's Mr. Patch. Singular. Even though he's got multiple patches, he should be Mr. Patches, but he's just Mr. Patch. There's the Jinjo, unless it's a- unless it's a Minjo. Let's check real quick. Spy check. SPY CHECK! It's real. Huh? Help! Got him. Okay, okay, uh... Is that all that's in here? I mean, we can go out the top exit. I guess we could try that. I don't know if that's all that's in here, though. Does Banjo like Will Smith's song, Getting Jiggy With It? Yes. I would assume so. Hold on. I know that there's... Hold on, hold on. Because I remember when I streamed this three years ago, there was something in here. Over here. Isn't there something up there? I could swear to God there was something up there. Like, right there. Right there, man! I could swear they hit something there. What am I thinking of?
Maybe I'm wrong. I just... I remember there's... It's literally just a Jinjo in here. What the fuck am I thinking of then? You're thinking of another temple. There's a Cheeto page you have to return to late. Okay, that's what I'm thinking of. I knew there was something in one of these temples. You're thinking of a different temple, but you're right. Okay. All right, let's try going out the... Uh, oh. Oh, Kane, thank you very much for the gift subs, man. I appreciate it. Um, let's try to go out this top door and see where that leads. Oops. But yeah, I, I was trying to get some shit running tonight. Like some funny Windows 3 games, but I was having trouble with them. And there was this one game that I really wanted to stream that I used to play as a kid. And for some reason, I had a dream about it last night, despite not playing it in like 20 years. It was called Dinosaur Adventure 3D, and it was like you played as this fucking blue dinosaur, and it was like a point-and-click minigame game. But what was what sucks about finding that game is that there was also a game released like the same year called 3D Dinosaur Adventure. I was specifically looking for Dinosaur Adventure 3D, but I think 3D Dinosaur Adventure was more popular, so that was the only one I was finding. Oh, it's Louie. Thank you for the sub. But yeah, I wanted to stream that tonight, and I couldn't find it. But that's only one of the games that I couldn't get working. I think we gotta uh, go in there, right? How do you get rid of the teeth? Am I just- I'm missing them. I just missed them, like, eight times in a row. Ah! Oh, he doesn't hurt me. Okay. I thought 23 dinosaur- no, no, no. 23 Dinosaur Adventure. <laughs> no, not 3D Dinosaur. It's it's the one that is not the game that you need to use 3D glasses with. Oh, double. I hate those fish. I know the game exists. I found it, but like nobody has any uploads of it. And I don't have the disc anymore. Ugh. Inside the big fish. We have to find Jolly's tavern partner. Really wish this wasn't an area in the game. Who's, who's asking for help? Are you real? You better not be tricking me. He's real. Yeah, I'll help you, dude. I don't know how you wandered in here, but... Ain't this Jubba Jubba's belly from... O yeah, it's that. It's that. Uh, you must be the rescue party. Only if the price is right. I'm Mary Maggie, partner of Jolly Roger. I was out on one of Blubber's wave racers when his when this fish knocked me off and swallowed me. The fish's mouth is open now, so you don't have to stay in here. That's lovely. It'll soon be happy hour at the inn, and Jolly will be needing some relief. Any chance of a jiggy? Oh, see Jolly about that. I'm sure he'll give you one. Yeah, head back to your racist bar! I'm still very upset about that. Nice walk cycle. <laughs> it took me forever to realize that Blubber is an alternative name for crying. Yeah, it's like got a bunch of meanings, and it's because he's a hippo. Alright, I think that's all we needed to do in there. Because hippos have lots of blubber. If I make a bar, Mumbo's allowed. Yeah, me too. These are fucking big fish. Alright, um... Yeah, we can swim faster with X and A, thanks to Royston. Hippo hippos don't have blubber. They do. No. <laughs> oh man. 
Hmm. I don't know if we have to do anything else in this chamber. I got fucking sneak attacked by that fish. Oh, its teeth stay on the ground. That's interesting. I don't know why they would do that. You'd think that they would, like, despawn. But alright. Let's see what's up here. Cetaceans and pin pinnipeds have blubber, not hippos. I'm sorry, what did you just say? Where does this lead? Oh, this is just back out here, okay. Um, let's see if there's any other exits from this area. Whales and seals. And hippos. Like Captain Blubber, because that's why it's his name, because he's got Blubber. I don't know if there are any other exits from this chamber. Whales and seals. Set citizens and pin pin pinheads. Let's try down here. Mike, have you played Dinosaur Adventure 3D? Yeah, I have. Have you played 3D Dinosaur Adventure? Go. They could have been a real dick and put something behind one of those octopi, but I don't think they did. Okay, so this is where the boss is. Um, I hate their stupid faces. We have to get that one. Greg Males. Um... I think the boss is in Davy Jones's locker, right? We could maybe... I don't know if we can fight him yet. Might as well try. It'd be easier if we did it with the uh, submarine, but I don't know. Let's just... While we're here... I hate this boss. And I never understood his name. Hey, Banjo, I can't... I can see a Jiggy down there. Let's take a look. Lord Wu Fak Fak. What does that mean? What? Who dares intrude on Lord Wu Fak Fak while he sleeps in his appallingly cramped locker? Oh, uh, we've just brought some mail for you, Lord Fak. Don't lie to me. You are going to steal my jiggy and drain my home, leaving me to flap pathetically around on the bottom until I shriveled up and died, weren't you? Something like that. Then a watery grave awaits you. It, oh. it means he goes... It's an inside joke for one of the devs whenever he was bug testing. Oh, okay, all right. This boss has blood. Real blood. Let's see if they left it in this version of the game. If I could hit the fucking thing! What the? What? Do you need a certain... There we go. Yeah, there's the blood. Real blood. Me precious boils. Sorry about that. Yeah, I'm not a fan of this boss, mainly because it's water controls, but also because it's very similar to Mr. Patch. In that he's just got a bunch of, like, targets on him that you have to shoot. I'm gonna get more grenade eggs. No, I don't need Torpedo Kazooie. You can do it with this. Come on, son! That was not good. That was not good. That was not good. That was not good. Oh, fuck. I feel like I should have been Submarine Banjo. Oh! I think I'm usually Submarine Banjo when I do this fight. Cringe Aim Chronicles. <laughs> <laughs> right, come on, come on. Oh, God. 
it like resets to neutral when you let go. So you have to like, if you want to aim to the side, you got to like lightly hold it in the same position to make it stay there. God damn it. He got this. I can't even see his attacks. Can this kid switch off Banjo? He can't aim for shit. Gotta lead your shots. Beautiful. Mr. Patch is the Knuckles levels from Sonic Adventure 1. Lord Wu Fak Fak is the Knuckles levels from Sonic Adventure 2. I don't quite understand what you're trying to say, but I kind of agree with it. Where's your where's your next boil, Mr. Fak? Can you turn? God damn it. Do the fight in third person challenge. I don't you can't even shoot eggs. You have to be in first person to shoot eggs. There it is. There it is. No, 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 no. Yeah. One more. There it is. <laughs> Gotta get more. You can do patches, patches in any order, like Sonic Adventure 1, but in Sonic Adventure 2, Knuckles' radar only picks up the emerald pieces in a certain order. Oh, okay, then that does make perfect sense. You're right. Wow. What a great comparison! <laughs> oh. I... Ah. Kazooie, can't you just peck it? Got it. Okay, good. Also, his eyes stay close. There we go. Ooh! Have you no sympathy hitting a poor blind fish? Time I opened my eyes to see what I'm doing! Lilo, thank you for the sub. Now I gotta hit his eyes, right? Which would make sense. That's a Donkey Kong! That's the Donkey Kong! Blah. Oh, please, not my eyes! Alright, can you... I'm gonna die. <laughs> I'm gonna fucking die. God. I'm gonna fucking die. Come on, give me this. Just want a few more. Just a few more. <laughs> No! There's no time to react to that. I'm gonna, I'm gonna fucking die. I mean, it is Davy Jones' locker. There's, this is an appropriate place to die. No. Can you just? All right. I don't know where the attack is though. Ah! He's only got two health left. Come on. What's poppin'? Boils. No! One more! Fuck! No! Oh! Got him. <laughs> Curses! Things seem to have gone belly up. One hundred years of oceanic tyranny brought to an undignified end. Slothful, thank you for the sub. Got him. Dr. Pimple Popper be like... Fucking hell. No thank you. 
Yeah, you can keep shooting him for more dialogue, right? Oi! Stop that, you scumbags! I know your father. <laughs> what? You do? And when you say father singular, does that mean Banjo and Kazooie have the same father? Are Banjo and Kazooie siblings? Cease firing! I used to be a hero. Didn't you know? No? What the fuck are you talking- Okay, but King Jingling said he used to hang out with you. So does that mean maybe King Jingle- Well, no, they call Jingling a traitor. There's some fucking thing going on between this dude and King Jingling and whether or not they were both heroes or villains in the past. Alright, I'm- I'm out. Okay, that boss is down. Let's get some health while we're down here. If I could get... Where did it go? Where did it even go? There was some mysterious... They called King Jingling a traitor. The witches did at the start. And then King Jingling in his zombified state said he used to hang out with Lord Wu Fak Fak. So something's going on there. Yeah, we got- did we get this warp pad? I think we already did. Yeah. Okay, um... Let's head down here, then. Oh, wait. Yeah, alright, alright, I understand. Traitor because he helped Banjo and Kazooie. Yeah, but that would Im calling him a traitor would mean that he was on the witch's side first and that he changed sides i don't know there's some mis there's some mystery going on there um i don't know if i want to go back this way maybe the jinjos served the witches at one point That'd be fucked. They probably explained it on the wiki. You know what? They might. They may also have explained it in the uh, GBA game, which I haven't played. Hmm. I mean, that game, you go back in time, right? So if, if anywhere you were going to learn about that, it would be in that game. Wasn't that a ra- No, that's Banjo Pilot. I'm talking about Grunty's Revenge. I don't think that fits in with the Great Ape War. I don't think any of these characters were involved in it. That assumedly took place on Donkey Kong Island, which is not this land. Mm, let's try to teleport back to that main area. Captain Video, thank you very much for the sub. I do want to do uh, Grunty's Revenge someday. Is Banjo one of the brother bears from DKC3? I would imagine he is. Actually, let's get the Jiggy from uh, from uh, uh, Jolly. <laughs> I'll take... Let's make freaking lose it! Thanks for rescuing my partner. Think nothing of it. No, honestly, I'm rather pleased. How about a tankard of my finest ginger beer on the house? Perhaps later. Then please accept this modest little trinket instead. Alright. I hope I don't ever have to come back here. Oh, well, there is something in there, isn't there? Isn't this a path to- oh, hold on. Forgot about this. This leads to like a little cavern where Kazooie has to glide or something, right? Yeah, I totally forgot to do that. What's weird about Jolly's 
mumbo dialogue is that he's the only one who doesn't have that copy-pasted sorry I only talked to Banjo. Why? Why? Why did they write a, a unique line of dialogue for Jolly? Yeah, we need the glide move. Hmm. Unless, hold on. Maybe you don't. Can you shoot down these stalactites? No. Yeah, okay, so now we're down... Now we gotta get the fucking... Where do you learn the torpedo move? I met the Slime Time Live guy at his house before. Thank... That's a great piece of trivia. Thanks. Frogs and skeletons never got along. Frogs have skeletons. Let's head somewhere else then. I wish I could like zoom out a little bit. It feels like I'm too close to whatever. Like I don't know. Scarlet, thank you for the sub. Uh, Mike, actually, they don't. Of course, Desert would say that. What do they have instead of skeletons? Then Desert. I know frogs have skeletons. I don't think I can get into the the ship needs torpedo Kazooie, right? Yeah, god damn it. Why would these aliens build a door specifically that could only be opened by Kazooie and also engrave Kazooie's face on it? I need to get back to that main chamber. Hmm. They foresaw the future. Okay, um, hmm. Let's need Kazooie for that. This one, I think we open. Is this the mermaid one? You have to follow this pattern, right? Let's see. They're on the, the buckets, right? Can it just be any type of egg? Stop. Ugh. Then this one. And then this one. Come on. Okay. Then this two. This two. Where is it? This one? Bingo! Mike, have you ever played the I Spy games? I saw them before. I think my local library as a kid had them. Wasn't it sick that, like, some local libraries had PC games? And, C like, audio CDs were the sickest thing to get from the library because once I learned about iTunes and how you could just import CDs, I would just go to the library and get CDs just so I could import them onto my computer and have them forever. It didn't even matter if I liked the musician. I just wanted to take the I wanted to take the music. Oh hi, I'm Chris. Chris? Not very pig-like if you ask me. Ready for it? Actually, it's Chris P. Bacon. Oh, I see. What are you doing, Mr. Bacon? I'm on vacation trying to phot photograph these lovely paintings on the wall down there. Sounds fascinating. Oh, it is. But these awful fish keep attacking me. Why not get a spear gun? This camera was too expensive. I had no doubloons left. Perhaps you could protect me while I'm down there instead? Right then. If you could just follow me down to the bottom. But yeah, I used to get, like, the backyard sports games from my library. It was good. Yeah, he's got the Game Boy camera, doesn't he? Hope you're ready. Here they come! Oh, 
Oh no. Ah! <laughs> I think staying up above might be easier. That nip a bit really. What? I can't read. Yes, I want to try again. Right then. If you could just follow me down to the bottom. I'm going to stay up top. That way I have like an aerial view. Hope you're ready. Here they come. Oh, this is hard. This is hard with the way it aims. Oh, why does it have to reset to neutral? No. Shimata. Did I get him? Shimata. God damn it. <laughs> Maybe like... Oh, jeez. Ouch, that really hurt. Grenades might be better, yeah. Is there a way to change the aiming? I don't know. Grenades would be easier. Let's try this. Did I last longer that time? It felt shorter. I'm not using homing eggs. I can do it. You can shoot through the cage. All right, that doesn't sound safe, but I'll do it if I have to. Alright, this is what we're gonna do. Nice and smooth. What? Okay, good. Got him. Where? 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 I hear him. God, you gotta do this for so long! Oh no. I think that'll do it. I'm off back to the surface. God, he's wearing his new AirPods. He can't hear us. Chris! I got all the shots I needed. Perhaps this thing I found earlier may interest you. Well, I'm off to get these pictures printed. Bye. Well, hey. Who who's operating that? There's an N64 and a Game Boy in this game and it's on the Xbox. Mm. What's up Connor and Holden? Uh all right, so now where? We've gone in there. We need- where do I learn the torpedo move? Because I need that. This is the Rare Replay version. The Rare Replay version is the 360 version. Is this the same eel? Electric eels lair. Okay, so this is the one I was thinking of. Ah! <gasps> I know it's here. I know it's here. They removed the Game Boy and Conquer, but why not this? That's a good question. I don't know. <laughs> L or R launches bird. Just watch her go through the water like a torpedo. Left stick to steer and A for speed. X to cancel if it's banjo you need. First verse was kind of shitty, Jam Jars, but... Man. Get okay, Banjo just like, oh, uh -huh, yeah. I could 
swear it was here. Maybe it's a different one? How many electric eel chambers are there? I wonder if you could translate those characters on the wall. Hmm. Sadly, I am only an eel. I saw a video yesterday of some dude dropping a pizza into the water and then like a mass of eels just swarms the pizza and consumes it. I think they were eels. They may have been some other long oceanic creature, but it was very horrifying and it scared me a lot. Okay, so now we can get into these areas. for it. This is hard to aim. Might be easier in first person. Doesn't seem healthy for the eels. Nope. It certainly doesn't. Those weren't eels. That was the void. Well, there were so many of them, they blended in with the water. This has to be the place I'm thinking of. There it is! I knew there was a collectible! I knew you were there, you little pagey. Pagies and cages. I think I need another power to get it, though, yeah? Hmm. Oh, there's split-up pads. Did you notice this place is called Ancient Swimming Baths? The joke is the mermaids used to live here, and going on dry land to them is like taking a bath for us. What? What? I don't get it. You're fake. There's no way you'd just be sitting there out in the open. You're fake as hell. No way. I knew it! Trust no Minjo. God, why does everyone have to be so fake? Well, what else is there to do in here? I don't have- you need the glide move to get that, uh, pagey. God damn it. Oh! I don't get why the eels look so realistic. And everything else is cartoony. Okay, there's plenty other places we can get into now. We can go into the spaceship for one, and then we can also get in here, I think. No, wait, no, we already went in there. Okay, let's uh, warp out to the start. You can get that pagey with the banjo double jump, if I recall. Cr oh, shit. Challenge. Are you telling- are you being real? I feel like that's a thing. Because I kind of remember trying to do that before. Now hold on. I think I can do this. Oh! Because there's split up pads in here. I kind of remember trying to do this before. Nope. Because you can do the double jump like this. Listen. Oh, he's trying real hard. Look it! He's even the same color as he was before. Holy shit! Arr. <laughs> Fucking hate these dudes. <laughs> he bounced all the way down the stairs. I think you can do this. I really do. Hold on. I think you can jump from this. I really do. Hmm, okay. Maybe, can you backflip first? No. Yes! It is a Cheeto page, and that feels like a cheat code that I just did. 
na na na. Come on, Kazupi. Oh look, he's back. I know you're fake. Liar. Liar! You could tell from his eyes, he was a liar. Help! Oh, oh, come on. Get down there. Go, go, go! Atlantis is Grant's favorite song he wrote for Tui. Really? It's definitely not my favorite. It's good. All the music in this game is good. Okay, so let's head to the spaceship. And I'm not going to take any guesses or anything. I'm just going to warp to the town center and jump down from there. They should make a Jinjo garden like Chow Garden. Part of me agrees with that, but I feel like Chow are more like pets than Jinjos are. Jinjos have their own little town, and they they can talk. You know, I feel like they're a little more civilized than, than Chow are. There we go. Inside the UFO. Is that a real Jinjo? I've been burned before by a, si a situation just like this. I knew it! What is it with the purple ones? You guys got a fucking villainous bastard in here. Same one. Greetings, feeble earthlings. Wow, real aliens. Are any of you called Elvis? No, we're Alf, Betty, and Gammo. We're also in a bit of a fix. Let me guess. You need to you need to phone home? No, we have a cell phone for that. The drive unit on our ship has run out of fuel. It's powered by crystallized ice, but we don't have any. I'm sure we'll be able to sort something out. Isn't Elvis a reference to some other game they made? It was Perfect Dark? Power up the other crystals quickly. Wow, they're on a time limit, huh? Do we have time to shoot a bastard? In bet oh fuck. Come on. No, I did it! You have failed us, pathetic earth. I wanted to kill the dude. Fix your own ship then. By the way, do any of you have green cards? Let me do it again. I just... I wanted to kill that dude. Three sixty. No scope. Got him. Thank you, Earthling, Bear and Bird. Now please exit our ship as we need to leave. We are later late for dinner. Uh any chance of a reward? We landed on a shiny thing. You may have it. Now go. New Roswell incident footage found colorized. Watch this. Bastard! All right, how do you guys even get out of here? This door is smaller than- all right. Fallout 3 DLC be like. Main drive engaged. Activating nav scanners. Strange glowing lights on. All systems are go. Now let's get out of this awful earthling water and find the kids. I think they ejected somewhere over a snowy mountain. Please leave. Okay, let's grab that.
Okay. Let me check our totals. Five out of ten. One out of three. One out of three. One out of two. We used to get all the notes. We're missing one Jinjo. All right. I like totals. Every time. Dripples, thank you for the sub. All right, so now we can get those translucent fish as well. Now that we can shoot through stuff. Do you have anything? You have a pagey. Briegel. Uh. Did I get it? No. Lied, 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 Ian. Thank you for the sub. Lydia, Lydia in mint. Thank you for the sub. I'm sorry, I don't know how to say anything. Okay, uh, fucking hell. I have been calling them pages because that's what they are. Mm. Oh, there's a secret. Nope. Go get him. You can go in by yourself. Nope, no you can't. Could you just... Could you, that, that. I wish there was a brakes button. Can I shoot this? Oh! I remember that. We still haven't gotten all of the stop and swap stuff because I think the ice key is in Hellfire Peaks, right? We're in Grunty Industries. Hold on. Alright, he's real. He's clean. This counts as a Grunty Industries Jinjo, though, I think. If you shoot them with grenades, they blow up permanently. Okay, good to know. Boom, boom, boom. It's in Glitter Gulch Mine, actually. There are a couple eggs you can get in the Isle of Hags. Okay. Oh, no, 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 no. Go back in. Do I want to waste grenades? I don't even got no grenades. Mike, you can't just physically interrogate every Jinjo you see. I've been hurt in the past so many times before. I feel like it's warranted. Okay. Now... Still can't... I wonder if we... Hold on. You can, like, breach, right? Like a whale? Like this? I wonder if I could get that jiggy like that. Ugh! I don't think so. It's too high. No, that's too that's too high up. Hmm. All right, well then let's leave this area. I think I've got everything in here then. No, not that way. Hmm. Where's the exit? There it is. There we go. This water is kind of eh looking. Well, as I've said many times, it's tough to judge how good a water looks in a game from underwater. We'd have to judge it from the surface. Um, hmm. What else is there we can do here? We haven't even found Humba. Where the hell is Humba at? She's gotta be like... I have no idea where she is. 
Let's head back to that main area. I think we'll be streaming Glover somewhat soon, because I want to see what it's all about. Yeah, we killed the boss. Uh, any of these guys have anything useful inside of them? I think it's just this one. Yeah, none of us are as qualified to judge water as that Meverse guy was, but Meverse isn't around anymore, and we don't know what that dude's up to, so we kind of have to try to pick up the pieces. Um, hmm. Maybe try this way? I don't know. I don't know if we've been down this way. It's going fine. How are you, Sprite Knights? Uh... Why did I get an achievement? <laughs> achievement unlocked! No, this is the ship. I think we still needed to do something in here, though. There was like a Kazooie thing, right? Yeah, okay, at least we can- Oh, and there's a Jinjo chest! That Jinjo looks worried. <laughs> He's sort of making the same thing. Like, it's like, I feel like that's the same emotion that the Yoshi emote- it you know? Oh, I don't have any grenade eggs. I probably need fucking grenade eggs. Oh, unless I can just do that. Okay, hold it, go back. There's no way you're fake. You were inside a chest. All right. That's only the first purple Jinjo we've gotten? Nope. I keep fucking thinking the controls are backwards. But up is up and down is down. Humba, you gotta be in here, right? God damn. Oh, this is to Glitter Gulch Mine. Oh, I know where this leads. This leads to one of those water buckets. The little uh, silos or whatever. It... <sighs> Imagine being locked in a chest with your own face on it. It's rough. It's another purple one. Okay, goodbye. Okay. When do you unlock the crimson eggs for Kazooie? I already got them. Right here. It bothers me that left bumper doesn't scroll up through the eggs. Yeah, the world's connecting is really nice. I've always liked that. I still don't know where Humba is, though. Um, okay. Oh! There's nothing over there. Is she in the main Atlantis area? You mean the place with all the buildings? She's there? Go to the main Atlantis area, then go north. Desi, what is north? Oh, that one maybe? Maybe we haven't gone up there. This might be it. Oh! oh. Got him. Oh! I'm gonna die. No, this just leads back to the main area. This is wrong. Wrong, wrong, wrong. That was the wrong tunnel. I want another achievement. Octopus, please give me another achievement. Ah! 
fucking hate these dudes. It's near the warp pad. Alright, that's a good hint. Those are better directions than north. The warp pad's over here. Oh, that tunnel. I haven't been in there. Yeah, I remember- Humba's like half- the- her wigwam is like half submerged in water in this level, right? I hear a globo. I hear you, you little globo. There you are! Got him. Biowolf, thank you for the sub. There you are. I feel like this is a bad location, but alright. Wherever you feel like setting up shop. Just half in water. Remember that meme where the dude's like, My basement ain't got no business looking like this. My wigwam ain't got no business looking like this. Thanks for coming. Thanks for coming to the stream. Oh wait, I have to pay you. You have Globo? Yes. Sure, I'll just throw it in because this makes sense. I guess whatever magical liquid that is, is more dense than water. Go in! This is a cool transformation. Submar Humba call this submarine. Wow, great name. You guys remember that girl from my fourth grade class that that said the thing about Jim in 94.5. There was another class where we were talking about submarines because it was history class, and I don't know, we were talking about some culture that used submarines, and she was like, she raised her hand, and she was like, wait, you're telling me submarines are real? She didn't know they were real. She thought they were made up. Same girl. I think you've said this before. Yeah. Probably last time I streamed this. I don't know. Sukaholic or Sukaholic. Thank you for the sub. Um, Alright, so what do I do? Oh, I can go into that underwater segment or the, the deep area in Davy Jones' locker. Did Banjo-Tooie really happen? Hello? Locker's Cavern. Um, hello? Did Banjo-Kazooie really happen? Oh, yeah, you have radar, too. For those of you who weren't here, because I haven't told this story in a really long time, uh, we were in history class in fourth grade, and our teacher asked us, he was, we were talking about stars for some reason, and he's like, does anyone know the name of the star that is or this star, he like pointed to like an area in the sky and he was like, I'll give you a hint. It's named after something radio related. And the answer was Sirius. Because, you know, like Sirius XM radio or whatever. And the girl raised her hand and she goes, um, this might be stupid, but is the star called Jammin' 94.5? Because that's our local fucking like pop station. <laughs> it was really fucking funny. <laughs> she was really dumb. Like, she wasn't trying to make a joke. This girl was very, very dumb. It was really funny. Was she right? Yeah, she was right, actually. She was also a huge bully, so I don't feel bad talking shit about her. She was very, very mean. Yes! She sounds endearing. No, she wasn't endearing. She was very mean. Jammin' 94.5. Uh, this might be dumb, but... But yeah, this is one of those games that's also available multiplayer. 
Except I think it might also be available deathmatch. I remember, like, hiding in the little caverns. Rats! You luckily scored enough points to win my prize. Grunty, why don't you just not give it to him? I don't understand. I don't understand villains who do this. Just don't give it to him. Don't! Where did you even put it? Where did you put it? Grontilda, where did you put it? Well, see, the problem is, is Gr Banjo doesn't put anything up, like, at stake. I guess his life? Do you want to play again? No. All right. What else is there to do as the submarine? I need to get that. I need to be Kazooie to get that, though. God damn it. Mm. Got him. Yeah, the whole quiz show thing is very generous, too. I don't know why she bothers. Hmm. Can you freeze him with this? I think you can, right? Yeah. I don't know what else you have to do. If I sub, will you play La Bamba on... I've been playing it this whole time very quietly. Go on land. Go ahead. Secret. This is a secret. You can't damage boost up there. Love this. Oh! Mike, please, this would be so funny. What it, What are you trying to say? The fucking part from Nathan for you where <laughs> they're trying to sabotage Uber and they play Mambo number five really loud. Turn up the music, man! Mike, when you do the sonar sound, will you play this? It's gonna be fart with reverb. Oh, no! <laughs> Caught me off guard with that one. I love to get in sparkly dresses. <laughs> Wait, hold on. Hold on, hold on. I love to get in sparkly dresses. Did that work? I couldn't hear it. Was that good? Was it good? Does that sound real? <laughs> I love to get in sparkly dresses. Wait, hold on. Oh, that thing was just sitting there. I was like, where's the fish? All right, let's go turn back into... I want to get that real quick. I'll probably have to turn back into the submarine, but this game, like I've said, if I don't do things the second I think of them, then I'm never going to do them. Also, it bothers me that Jam Jars knows you're trying to use the teleporter, but he's like, you got to be closer to it. It's like... You know I'm trying to use it! Uh, I think the submarine is only used for that minigame. Is it really? That would be such a waste. Oh wait, there's a Jiggy in there. Hold on. Do you really only need it for that minigame? I guess you can do more- you can do- this is like got a lot of optional shit you can do as a submarine, because you can fight the boss, too. No, go in- Banjo? Go in the- there you go. You can use it for Lord Wu fuck off. Yeah, you can. But even then, that feels like- it feels like kind of a waste. Because it's a cool transformation. All right, let's grab the Jiggy in here that I didn't notice until now. 
which is... I can just find it this way. Oh, wow, this camera sensitivity. Oh, boy. Oh, Jesus. There, there you are. Hey. Ready? Good. Look how small Kazooie's legs are. She, like, shrunk them. Look at that. I never noticed that. Okay. Are the transformations for Banjo painful? I would assume they are, yes. Very, very painful. How come Banjo doesn't have an air meter? Oh, because earlier we used Mumbo to purify or sunify or oxidize. That's the word. The water that made it breathable. But from what I've heard, this area is actually doable without doing that, which is crazy. All right, let's head back to the lockers. Big Fish Cavern. Where are you at? Turn down the music, man! Give me it, you Humphrey fish! Got it. All right, let's check our turtles. Seven out of ten, two out of... Where's the other... What? There's still one more honeycomb piece and one more pagey. Yeah, the first person camera when swimming is something that I think I've just gotten used to. Hmm. The first honeycomb, or the honeycomb I'm missing is in a hole right next to the main Atlantis warp point. All right, let's do that. I got the page in the fish, I thought. But maybe I didn't. Oh, you know what? I remember this one. There is one that's like, it's like just a little crevice, right? Like a little, there it is. Does the minigame give you a page? I don't think so. She didn't say there was another reward. Maybe there is another fish that I haven't gotten the thing with. Hmm. And then there's also more jiggies, but some of- I think one of them has to do with the pollution. One of them is the tip tuplings, which are ones I have to come back for. Did you get that one page out of a fish? I think I did. Sunken ship. The pawn shop? Didn't I do that? Let me just double check. I thought I did. I think I went back in and got that last time. It's been a few days. No, we didn't get it. Okay. Hello again. How much for the worthless old page? Far from worthless, friend. I was told that page comes from the legendary Cheeto book. Are you sure? Oh, yes. I'm afraid I won't take less than five doubloons for it. I don't get quality like that in here every day. So I see. Yeah, we'll, we'll pay for it then. This dude's a Melvin. Still be five doubloons. Do I have a sale? What do you say? Right, friend. Let's see some gold. A pleasure doing business. Please help yourselves. Oh. This rat does live in internal pain. <laughs> That's like my favorite animation in the game. <laughs> Did you get the Jiggy from Jolly? Yes, I did. Um, okay, so one of the Jiggies is from the gliding minigame. One of it one of them is from the pollution, and one of them is from the tip tuplings. So I might have everything for now. Cause I can't hatch the eggs yet. I can't do this until Grunty Industries, and then I can't uh Yeah, I think we're good. Mike, I accidentally played Sea Shanty on the sound system at my gym today. Did you play Sea Shanty or Sea Shanty 2? This is very important. JJ Sauce, thank you for the sub. I did rescue the frog. I think I got everything for now, which means I think Hailfire Peaks is next.
I think. Yeah, I know. I know. No, it's ter- It's terrible dactyl land. Terra of dactyl land. Are you sure? Okay. Oh yeah, you know what it is, because we opened the teeth already. Right, my bad. Banjo, you want to go to the dinosaur world? Unpopular opinion. I like Sea Shanty 1 better than 2. <sighs> Listen. I'm very accepting. But that might be too far for me. I hear you, Globo. Where is Globo? I hear you, you little Globo. He must, must be up on the rough. See, Shanty X misses out of season now. Okay, let's go. I just have to remember where Terra of Dactyl Land is. Uh, I'm trying, I'm thinking. The cogs in my brain are working. Hold on. We already did this thing with Mumbo, right? We got Chuffy running. I think, or did we get distracted by the fucking <laughs> the pterodactyl? I don't think we did it yet. Hold on, let me grab this first. There's like a thing over here. Let's do this. Someone tell me what Sea Shanty is. It's a song from RuneScape, and that's actually what I used to replace uh, the Kingdom Hearts 2 theme at the end of the Twitch, uh, not the VOD, the uh, YouTube archive. Okay, now we can call the train. Yeah, this is where we did our epic gamer moment. Which is like, one of my best moments I think I've ever had. In game or out of game. Right here. This is where it happened. I jumped and I killed the pterodactyl that no one's ever killed before. All right, Mumbo here. Yeah, 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 we need you to call the train. Yes. Leopard Fire, thank you for the sub. The accordion drop on that song rivals Mozart. <laughs> it does. I love how when you toss the globo into his into his sack, you can see it like fall through the bottom of the bag for a sec. Peak N64 quality. Better run. All right, train, we're going to use our magical powers to call you. Oh! Duh. You have to load the fucking sick Triceratops into the train. God damn it. That's not what that does. You don't call it. I'm a fool. I forgot. I know some people in chat forgot too because they were like, now you can call the train. Don't pretend that you weren't fooled as well. Oh. Thanks for your help, Mumbo. Okay, now I just have to remember where Pterodactyl Land is. <sighs> is it back towards Jinjo Village? I think it might be towards Jinjo Village in that, uh, when you go backwards at the start. Did you call the train to Witchy World? I did. Oh, wait, we can't go in there. Pine Grove. I'm trying to remember. Yeah, 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 yeah. Bad things. Pine Grove in the water. Oh, right, because we can use Kazooie to break that, uh, the, the, the rock now. Let's do this. 
I always thought Jam Jar's sunglasses were creepy eyes. I feel like that's something I may have seen as well as a kid. There you go. Nope. Got the controls reversed again. Nope. Whoop. Whoop. Got it. Still following those tracks. Oh, Klungo. We gotta do a Klungo fight. Oh, no. Oh, no. Not you again. Uh, Mr. Said Klungo must stop you or I get more beatings. We'll give you a beating too. No, Klungo win this time. Has new potion to try. Poor Klungo. Poor Klungo. God, I love this character design so much. It's so charming. Klungo, I want you to call me mistress when you see me. Yes, mattress. That's what top... Top five funniest images of all time. What is Klungo? Monster. What is that picture? I don't know. I, I can't remember the last time I saw it. It was just like some fucking text message conversation. Oh, Sasaga, thank you very much for the bits. Um, where this person was like, Jonathan, when you see me, I want you to call me mistress. And he just replies, okay, mattress. <laughs> it's like the funniest shit. Baron Bird beats poor P Klungo again. It can't be good for your health, Klungo. Why not retire? No, Mattress needs me. Klungo return for more beatings. Then work on new potion. Klungo. I'm so happy that Klungo kind of did what he said he was going to do at the end of this game and went on to, to make a game development career for himself. The only problem is that his new design in Nuts and Bolts is awful, and he loses all of his charm, and I hate it. Did you find the picture? How do you people find this shit so fast? <laughs> I just fucking love that picture. <laughs> the ultimate egg for you to hold the clockwork bomb that's remote controlled. You didn't really tell me how to use that at all. He usually goes over the controls, but he didn't. Right. I hear you. Oh no. One of you is a traitor. Well, okay, I was gonna do a bit where it was like, shoot him, he's the real Minjo! But you guys made the choice easy. I was gonna do this whole bit. They ruined it. Yeah, he already told you, told you how to shoot eggs, but like, I don't know. I feel like as a tutorial, that was really lackluster, Cham Jars. Which one do I shoot?! I don't know if there's anything else I can do at this point. Yeah, I don't have the spring shoes. Pterodactyl Land has a very cool theme. I like Dinosaur Worlds a lot. It's just kind of confusing to navigate, and the transformation is a pain in the ass. Even though it's very cool. The music here is awesome. Oh. 
I don't know if I can hit this now or what. There we go. I'm going to use Clockwork Kazooie eggs to do the sickest shit in this level. Watch this. Oh, no, no, Jam Jars, not now! I guess, never mind. Never mind, Jam Jars. Oh. Can't you do some glitches with clockwork? Yeah, I think you can shoot clockwork kazooie eggs through, like, seams in the geometry. I think there might be a caged Jinjo in this level you can get using him. Ba, 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 ba. Speedrunners do some nonsense with them. Yeah. Come on. I hear you. I hear Jinjo. Hmm. No. I could clockwork Kazooie it. I could clockwork Kazooie it! Wait, hold on. Or I could do this to be stylish. I don't know if this is how you're supposed to get it, but this will feel cool. Come on, Kazooie! Come on, Kazooie! Do a cool thing, please! Nope. You can do- you can get into Grunty Industries without the train using those eggs. That's crazy! Alright, well, I guess we'll just use the fucking egg. This'll still be a cool thing, it's just not as cool. From downtown! <laughs> Got it. As a bit of lore, you'll notice that every Jinjo in this level is behind prison bars. What the fuck does that mean? God, this music is so good. Uh, we have those two shoes, because they're from the first game. Yeah, this is the area of where, if you look at it from above, it looks like a dick. I love the, the cute little baby dinosaur in this level. These are different pterodactyls from the ones in the mainland. Uh, hmm. God, this land is so big. Looks like a what? Hold on. I'm gonna get that Jinjo using a, a cheat code. Lots of Jinjos. That you can. That's a fake one because he's not in jail. You remember the cute baby dino from Conquer? The one that was going. Baby. I'm the baby. Watch this. Well, nope, not quite. I don't know if you can get this one this way, actually. Thanks for the bits. I C U P. Get it? Still funny. All these years later. But thank you for the bits, though. Remember when Conker murdered a baby? Yeah. Uh, got him. Mike just summoned the winged dragon of Ra. <laughs> I specifically remember a part with, like, a bunch of cages on the wall that you could shoot a Kazooie egg through. Also, up there is that Chompasaurus dude that's, like, massive, and he's so thirsty. Please. Please, Banjo. His name is Dippy. <gasps> Globo. Globo! <gasps> oh. Oh. 
I can't tell if I like the mm, or the yeah, from Sonic Adventure 2 more. Dun 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 Path to Nest. I don't think we can fight Terry yet, can we? Don't you have to do a secret roar to open those cages? Yeah, okay, look! Hold on. This is this was in one of the rated E conspiracy videos. If you look at this path. Now don't if your mom is nearby, don't watch this part. There's a dick, and then there's these platforms that look like little well, it's very inappropriate. But I learned about it in one of those videos that I feel like had creepy fucking X-Files music playing for some reason. No, Mom, my computer! <laughs> um, I guess we could do the baby T-Rex stuff now, but I don't really want to. Not yet. Uh, this is the area with the cages, I think. Ah! No! <laughs> Love that dude. <laughs> Look at this guy. <laughs> Never understood what he was supposed to be, but I love him. Yeah, there's some, like, sort of fucking internal conflict going on here, too, between the two cavemen tribes. They're, like, at war with each other or something, right? I'll save you. Is this one possible to save like this? I don't know. I don't think so. I know that there was one that you could cheese. It's right next to the Mumbo's Mountain dick. He's penis flytrap is right next to Mumbo's Mount Dick. Okay. Uh. <laughs> Rock Nuts Tribe. Rock Nuts. Hmm. Yeah, you have to shoot the clockwork kazooie eggs through those little holes. <gasps> nope, damn it. What's the name of the other tribe? It's Rock Nuts and what? Because I have a good bit, but I need to know the other name. Um, there are three tribes. It's Unga Bunga, Oogle Boogle, and Rock Nut. I was gonna be like, when you walk into White Run, the guy walks up to you and be like, Rock Nut or Unga Bunga. But it's not that funny now. Because I had to, it, I sat on it for too long. Because we were talking about the Skyrim voice actors the other day, and that one guy who says Grey Mane or Battleborn. <gasps> Got him. Not fair. Found a gap in my armor. Others not so easy. Yeah, they have exposed asses. Can you read my joke? What was your joke? If you had an inguinal hernia, you would have had rock... Uh, yeah, that's very funny. Very funny. Laugh at my pain. Uh, let's try this one. No me. No, this is the where the rock nuts was. Are you sick? No, I'm not. Where's this fucking blue Jinjo at? Turn down the music, man! Top hole, top, the leftmost 
Was it, is it this one? No. Where the hell am I now? Uh, bottom hole. Second hole. Top third? No. Top fourth. Nope, that one's fake. There's no more. So how do you get to the blue Jinjo? Bottom fourth. <gasps> Got him! Top ten, tip top. He doesn't even say that in the video. <laughs> Alright, um, let's see. Hmm. I could split up. What are the split pads even for here? God, there's like a side quest where you gotta bring one of these cavemen, like, burgers. I'm remembering all this stuff. Oh god, there's Scrody. Classic Scrody! Michael, you have said top 10 tip top games 500 times, and every time you say it, you also say that he doesn't say that in the video. <laughs> His name is. Oh, I'm sorry. Did you not hear me? I said the name of this dinosaur is Scrody. <laughs> Poor Scrody. <laughs> Making fucking camel noises. Go away, leave Scrody alone! Well, if that's how you greet visitors... Why are you so sad? My family isn't keeping too well. Now you've done it, Banjo. Just wait until you hear all the problems she wants us to fix. Look at my eldest, Scrat! He's very sickly and needs a doctor urgently. Which doctor? I don't care. Any doctor will do. I've heard there's a crazy shaman that lives on the cliff top who might help. Scrit here was out walking one day and came back this size. Now he's too small to be a proper dinosaur. <laughs> Scrut! That's so close to Scrunt! From my person headed off to the train station. So many problems. I told you so, Banjo. We'll see what we can do. Wonderful. It's nice to know not every character in this game is bad. Watch this. That might be too far. No, I can make it. I just missed. Oh, come on! Why didn't... Mm. Bingo! Where's, uh, where's... Scrunt? God, these dinosaurs are so fucking cute. Look how cute they are. Look how cute this is. <laughs> I love this character design so much. They're so cute. Ooh, ooh, ooh. I'm so small and all the girls laugh at me. <laughs> also, I would like to I was going to say this during the dialogue, but I forgot. When when Scrody said that they needed a doctor, and then Kazooie said witch doctor, that's like a witch doctor. Very funny. Oh, I do feel slightly unwell. It must have been that caveman I ate, or perhaps it was the pterodactyl dung. You ate pterodactyl shit? No wonder you're sick. Scrumb? 
What was this one's name? All right. Um. Hmm. I don't know if we have. We don't know the pack move, right? Does that say Bree? Gah. <laughs> I kind of forgot it said that. Gotcha. Yeah, I don't think... I think we need to get, like, the backpack move first. Okay. Well, that dino is on the train still, right? The lost one? I think we loaded it onto the train in Witchy World. Which means we'll just have to call Chuffy here and then bada bing bada boom. Oh, what move do you know? Jam jars. Wrong button. High up ledges are out of reach. Jump to get there. I'll now teach. Choose your spot with the greatest care. Only one jump for the bird and bear. That'll be all. Dismissed! Thanks. I mean, we already have a high jump move. On the- with the whole green platforms, but okay. What's in here? This is the train station. Do you know where the train station is? You're fake! I won't have any of this. I'm so sick of you. Help! Die! All right, let's call the train. Hold on. Do I have any clockwork eggs? I don't think I do. Damn. Let's grab some right here. Uh -huh. Don't you dare! I'm trying to get eggs! Motherfucker! You only get one each? Ugh. We might even need the uh, backpack move to. We might need the backpack move to transport this guy back if he d can't remember how to get home. Chuffy is enjoying the attractions of Witchy World. Would you like Chuffy to pick you up? Come on, Chuffy. Alright, come on. Come on, dinosaur. Walk home. You don't need me to do this for you. There you go. I hope mom won't be too mad at me. I'm sure Scrody won't be too mad at you, Scrumby. They're so fucking cute. Thanks for returning. My lost child, she'll be cleaning out our cave for the next month as punishment. Alright, now what I wanted to do earlier was shoot a clockwork egg over at that caveman. Let's try this. No! Target located. All go shape of the pair, but still three of us left. <laughs> How did you even get up here? Would you live here in real life if you could? 
I would like to live in Banjo's world so I could come visit these places, but I would not like to live in Pterodactyl Land. Um, hmm. I wonder if we could snipe that dude. Uh, let's try this. Hold on. This will be cool if this works. No! Hmm. I don't even think we have a Globo for Mumbo yet. Kazooie needs to learn how to hatch eggs to hatch that, but first we need to beat the boss. Go ahead. Do it. No, wrong button again. Line it up. Get him. Save him before it closes up again. No! no. Thank you. You know, replaying through this game again, maybe it's because I haven't gotten to Grunty Industries yet, but so far I'm not feeling as, like, overwhelmed by it as I did last playthrough. Like, it's not bothering me as much. Maybe it's just because my stream has grown and I, like, enjoy streaming more and more and more as time goes on, but I'm, I'm enjoying this a lot more than I did last time. Tizarek, thank you for the sub. Uh... Let's head over to Mumbo's. I don't know. I guess we could use the the waiters. I feel like they just put this shit here because they needed to include everything from the first game. They were like, well, we need to put something here to wade through. Well, you can make those islands grow. But yeah, they're coming out of the tip. You'll see. Can I climb across that? Have I done that yet? I feel like I have not. Come on. Come on. Come on. Yeah, there's something over there. All right, what's in here? Oh. Okay. I mean, I'm not going to use them because I don't want to cheat. Did you respawn? Oh, now you do. All right, so Mumbo is used for... Is he just used to change the size of uh, Wumba's, Humba's wigwam? That might be all he's used for in this level, in which case doing this right now is, like, pointless. Because we should do everything we can as Tiny Dino first. Yeah, we'll pay you at least. I think he also makes those little islands out front bigger, which just makes it easier to traverse to his island. I don't know. He has some platform out front that we'll go check out real quick. Hold on. I think this is just to make these platforms grow, which I don't quite understand the point of, but all right. Hope this works. <laughs> I'd love to get in sparkly dresses. Ah! Alright, we're not doing this anymore because we have to go... Let's just turn into dinosaur. It's so Mumbo can get access. Oh, shit. Okay, yeah, that makes sense, I guess. Well, there's a warp pad, though. I don't know. Whatever. 
I recently watched your cameo streams and hell Mumbo looks so much less cursed here. <laughs> Mumbo looks so scary in the cameo game. <laughs> he looks so fucked. Alright, let's... Well, hold on. Before we go in here, is there, like, stuff we should do in the center of the mountain first? I feel like there's that whole middle area that we haven't even been to yet. Mumbo is in cameo. It's a secret costume. I think we see it very early on in the first stream if you want to check the archive of it. But there's uh, one of the characters you can play as, Pummelweed, has a Mumbo skin, and it is just... It's just awful. It's a skin. It's not really Mumbo, but... It's not a secret. It's just available. Is this it? <laughs> it's even scarier in motion with the fucking voice. <laughs> Fuck. What happened to Snake Pass? What? What do you mean? Did the archive go down or something? I loved Snake Pass. I streamed that when it first came out. You never know when shit's gonna get taken down randomly. I'm still getting claimed for the Viva Pinata soundtrack for some reason. It's just like randomly... I'll wake up to an email saying, hey, this part of the Viva Pinata playthrough claimed. <laughs> Hold on. Well, I don't know if I want to split up yet. Don't you call the, uh... God, there's so much to do. You call, like, the, the big dinosaur in here, right? Is that a warp pad? Or is that a flight pad? That's a flight pad. I think they must have recently just put the Viva Pinata soundtrack in their system or something. I don't mind, especially when it's older. When the stream's older and it's already gotten like all of the views it's gonna get. That's fine, whatever. I will say, Nintendo's been keeping to their word, which I wasn't really sure if they would do, but they haven't claimed, like, any of my Smash streams or anything. They've been really, really good with that new policy, and I really appreciate it. Uh... Hmm. What else is there to do in here? But at the same time, I also am one of those people that doesn't like to, to praise people for stopping doing the wrong thing <laughs> like at, like i feel like they shouldn't have had such archaic youtube practices to begin with i it's good that they've stopped but like it's been a very long time and they've been continuing to do this shit for ages oh there you are this guy's scary he's too scary for me <laughs> Am I gonna pick up Travis Strikes again? I do not think so. Can you hear me in there? I won't digest you if you help me out with my little stomach problem. Do you want to hear what you've got to do? No. Ready? Oh, I thought he was I thought it was gonna be like some dialogue, but okay. Uh it's just the same rules. Green is two, blue is three. This is loud. I have to turn this down. But yeah, I'm glad that Nintendo has reversed their stance on that. It's just a shame that it's been so fucking long that it hasn't been the case. Better late than never, I guess. All I'm saying is Snake Pass isn't completed. I think I finished the main game. I don't think I did any of, like, the extra content, but I'm pretty sure I did the whole, like, main story. I would love to see a sequel to Snake Pass, but I think those devs are working on Sonic and Team All-Star Racing. 
now with 100% less Sega characters. Am I gonna 100% DK 64 for its hundred for its hundredth anniversary, twentieth anniversary? Not in one sitting, no. That I swallowed this awful thing earlier. I thought it was a biscuit. Please take it with you when you leave. There is a hundred percent playthrough of DK 64 on the YouTube channel, um, but it's not it's not in one sitting. DK 64 turned a hundred this year. Damn. This doesn't look healthy. I don't know much about, like, the interior of dinosaurs' bodies, but this looks like fucking rock. This doesn't look like the inside of a throat should look. Yeah, I'm not all that interested in Travis Strikes Again. I am interested in the main series of games, but as someone who's never played them, Travis Strikes Again doesn't look all that exciting to me. Um... Everything I've seen of it just kind of looks like it's just not the type of game for me. But I would like to play the originals someday. I hope it does well. I have a feeling it won't. I just, I don't know why. Maybe it's because I'm personally not interested in it and that's painting my, my opinions, but... I don't know. I just, I feel like it doesn't look like the all that exciting of a game. It's definitely not doing anything for me as someone who's never played them making me want to get it. It kind of looks like a... It, it definitely looks cheap. But, like, that's not a bad thing. Like, games can still be good with lower budgets. It just doesn't look all that exciting to me. I don't know. Um, Let's see. I could split here. I can't break the... I think we should go fight the boss if we can. But I'm not sure what I need to do in here with the flight pad. Would you play any of the Sword of Mana games? Maybe someday. I don't have any plans to. Let's check over there, maybe? No? Alright, let's get out of here and we'll go do some T-Rex stuff. I hate when devs do this. Well, that's what I'm worried about, because from what I've heard, the mainline series is very good and I would really enjoy it, but I'm hoping that they don't use the sales of a spin-off game to determine the future of the series. Like they did with Chibi-Robo, or whatever. Because that's just not fair. Well, if nobody buys it, then they must not be interested. Maybe they're not interested because you changed everything about the game. Idiot. All right, let's go. Let's let's dino it up. It's dino time. Yeah, it's just a shame. Wii games are- Wii and Wii U games are such a pain for me to stream because of the way my whole streaming setup is set up. It's not easy for me to, like, get a sensor bar hooked up and everything. Wumba called this Baby T-Rex. Another brilliant creative name from Humba Wumba. God, this is so cute! It's so cute! <laughs> Awesomeness, thank you for the sub. How do you roar? I wasn't paying attention. X, R, Z, L. How do you roar? Oh, did I just do it or was that an idle animation? Maybe you can only do it in set location. I don't think, I think you could roar whenever. You ha oh, you have to learn to roar from the... D I forgot about that. That's such a strange mechanic, but okay. Yeah, you have to learn it from one of the fucking stegosauri. Wow, a new dinosaur. What are you? A vicious T-Rex. You're not that vicious. You don't even know how to roar properly, do you? Uh, no, I don't think we do. It's easy. Just tap X for a short roar and then hold X for a long one. Thanks. Let's go roar at someone. You... you just were friendly! What changed? Oh, now you're gonna talk to me?
<laughs> God. All right, let's see. I'm a friendly dino, dude. Please stop. Oi. Oi, what's this then? Roar, 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 roar. Then glittering prize will be yours. All right, I'm gonna have to, could you give me that again? Short, short, long, short, long, long. Short, short, long, short, long, long. Hopefully I can remember that. I just don't know where I have to do that. Am I immune to the chomper? I am immune to the chomper. I don't know where to do I think it's like somewhere up the mountain. But yeah, basically the reason the transformation in this level bothers me is because you can also turn into big dino. But to do that, you have to get Mumbo, bring him over here, grow the wigwam, then go back to Mumbo's, return Mumbo... Then go back with Banjo and turn into the big dino. And every time you want to switch the size of the dino, you have to do that. And it's very annoying. Uh, bastard, man. Um, is there any way, anything over here I can do? Uh, let's check in here real quick. The secret dino code is all you need to do with mini T-Rex. Is that true? That would be great. Hold on, let me check up here real quick. No! Oh! Don't make a happy jingle, I fell. Oi, anything up here? Oh! I don't think there's anything I can do up here. They had to make that too narrow for T-Rex to fit through. All right, enough. Stop. Wait, I want Kazooie eggs. Yeah. Triple. Sick. All right, well, we need to come back in here with uh, the bear and bird to learn move. Or maybe just the bear. That might be the backpack move. Okay. There's no way I remember that fucking roar combination. Come on, don't you fall. You prehistoric punk, come on. This is it, this is it. Alright. Short, short, long, short, long, long, right? I did it! Da da da. Okay, uh, we can get up there to fight. <sighs> you bastard. We can get up there to fight Terry now that we have the jump shoes. And. I think we can turn the T the Rex big now, too. So let's go. What the hell was that angle? Did you see that? Okay, let's warp back to Mumbo. Well, hold on, no. I want to do... I want to get that move first. Jump in here, turn back. Come on, Banjo. Whee! We'll leave here. Then go get that move. Hopefully it is a double learn move, but... Oh, we can't go through there. But we can use these shoes. Of course. Come on. The move is the hatch move. Okay, so I do need solo Kazooie. But there's no split pads up here. Unless there were split pads in there, but I don't think there were. Uh... I wish you would just teach me the move. It's not like... Ben well... Come on. Are there split pads in here somewhere? Uh, 
Maybe it's on the other side of this. There they are. Why are you evil? Stop. I don't think I've seen those mystery honeycombs since Witchy World. Okay. Go ahead, Kazooie. Learn hatch move. Then we can go back and hatch the tip tuplings. Teach me. I can't believe that you're a bird who can't hatch eggs. It's so absurd. Hold down left or right and then press X. Then a real bird. I'll finally see. <laughs> Still funny every time. Thanks, Xbox 360 version of Banjo-Tooie for the N64. Why does the mole know how to hatch eggs? Why do you need the mole to teach you that, Kazooie? Gotcha. Okay. Now. Should we fight Terry or should we... Wait, what's back here? Oh, egg. Should we fight Terry? I feel like we should fight Terry just to... In, like that, that makes all the eggs hatchable, correct? Hatchimals. Alright, where's Terry? Mother moles lay eggs. No, they don't, desert. Kazooie egg. Clockwork Kazooie egg. How do you do... Hmm, hold on. Mole eggs are actually delicious. Oh, are they, chat? Go ahead. You can make it. Go ahead, little baby. Go, baby. Go ahead. Go ahead, baby. Dad. I'll go shape of the pear. That's such a funny expression. Path to nest. Hop. Okay, so what I don't understand is why wasn't that just a jump pad? No sense. Don't get it. Hmm. Gonna have to get more. Wait, where the hell are more jump shoes? Are there jump... Are there jump shoes? Where the... I gotta get more jump shoes. Eh? Wait a second. In cave? In here? Oh, there they are. Wait, can I get this dude first? Nope, a little lower. Nope, alright, next bit. Zigzag, go ahead, you can make it. There you go. You down there! Steal my eggs, would you? Then take this! If you can find all three of my magical pterodactyl eggs, I'll give you my shiny golden treasure. Is it possible to beat Banjo-Kazooie 2 without collecting a single egg? No, it is not. Next question. Cold damage, thank you for the sub! Hmm. Gah! You made it! Come on, I dare you to come up and st up the stairs! I'll show you what happens to egg-robbing bears! Well, wanted the different one, but okay. You can find all ten of my magical mole eggs. I'll tell you the secret to how moles lay eggs. Give me back my eggs, filthy light-fingered bear! Uh, what eggs are those? Don't play the fool with me! I want my eggs back or else! Or else what? You're due to become extinct soon anyway. Maybe so, but not before you two! What do you mean? Is this the past? 
Isn't this just a location in your world? No, I need to... Hold on. Now, isn't... Doesn't Terry spawn creatures called Flemlings? Hold on. What? Ugh. Those eggs hurt! I'm off for a rest while the mu- Oh, sorry, mucoids. <laughs> I knew it was something like that. Great, I killed all the mucoids. Hey! Where did all my snotty buddies go? You've stolen them just like my precious eggs! What is- what are you even spitting at me? What is this icky paint like goo? Where are you? I, I turned the wrong way. Oh, come on! This is what it's like to have acid reflux. Come on. Me after eating pepperoni pizza. OJ man, thank you for the bits. Ugh. Ugh. Come on, let me go first person. Let me go FPS mode. No! Defeated by eggs. That's cruel. Oh. <laughs> Remember that sound effect. I tried my best, but I'll never get my eggs back from you now. We haven't got your eggs, Terry. You haven't? Oh dear, sorry about the rough stuff. That's all right, I enjoyed it. Perhaps we could keep a lookout for your eggs? Would you? That's real nice of you. There are four eggs to find, which must be ready for hatching around now. Leave it with us, or whatever. Please find the eggs for me before I become extinct. I'll give you half the reward now and half later. Oh. I don't think that was the Donkey Kong sound. I don't. Oh, thanks. Also, yeah, what was that, Kazooie, about you enjoying it? Oh, <laughs> I love these guys. The Oogle Boogles. Why do these things look so weird? They don't look like... They, they look like they're not animated in the same way that everything else is. Okay, Terry, we're off for a while. See ya. Uh, what? Why do I get two Jiggies there? That's really weird. All right. Okay, now, I guess we could... Let's go across this bridge. I don't know. No, don't. Uh-oh. Bingo. See? Do you see what they've done? Do you see what they've done? Do you see what they did? That's not appropriate. Okay, let's go over here. Boy, what's in here? Bonfire cavern. Oh, camera, could you get unstuck? Camera, do you want to get out of the entrance? <laughs> the door, thank you. 
Did you talk about Activision and Bungie splitting up? It shows how much I know about the gaming industry where I didn't even know they were partners. I heard about them splitting up, but I didn't even know that that was a, a partnership that existed. I know so little about some things. Oh no, that doesn't stay unlit for very long. Wait, what? Why is it unlit now? Oh. I mean, what does that mean for for what they're doing right now? Like, did they they made Destiny together, right? Does that affect any of their current projects or anything? Yeah, I had no idea Bungie and Activision were a thing. It means they're free to do whatever they want now. Well, not whatever they want. They can't do Halo. Right? I think you need the backpack sleep move for this, right? Well, at least to get Banjo across, I think you have to get them each across. I think Microsoft could hire them to do Halo then, right? If they're, like, independent now. Stomponadon. Hmm. Uh, we could probably get Kazooie across no problem, though. Kazooie's fast enough to make it on her own. All right. <gasps> That's scary. Uh oh, wait, I gotta what you have to walk on the fucking paths or you don't make it. Oh no, I'm not gonna make it. Yep. What happened to your face? This part scared me as a kid too. Especially because you don't get to see the dinosaur. You just see its leg. Uh, come on! What's over there? Just health? Might be worth getting. Come on, come on, come on, come on, come on, come on! Any second now. Go, 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 go! Go! I hear you, Jinjo. I'm here. Don't worry. Whew. That dramatic zoom. You're real? Alright, good. And I need both of them for that. Damn, okay. Yeah, I don't think we can... How do we... Can we use the... We can use the gold? I think? Can we use gold feathers? Maybe? Maybe? Every time I have to use them, I don't remember how to use them. Oh yeah, it's right on the C-stick. I could probably just run. Oh, we're not gonna make it. Wait, yes we will. Yes we will, we're gonna make it. Two. We made it, 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 we made it. Fuck. Yes. Now, this switch is just for Banjo. Kazooie, why can't you just get out? That's 40. That's such bullshit. We need to come back once we learn the sleep move. Okay. I never understood the mapping. The 360 version maps all the other moves to the face buttons and shoulder buttons. Why is Wonder... Yeah, I don't get it either. How many Jiggies are in this game? I think we... What? We said 90? Hold on. Is there another way out of here? I don't feel like platforming across this again. We're making good time with this game. Yeah, there's a warp pad. 
I think my last stream of this was like 11 parts or something like that. Uh, all right, let's get big T-Rex. And I remember the last stream of it was like four hours long or something. I know that I had a lot of trouble with the Grunty fight because of the way the fuck- I know this is an excuse, but because of the way the controller was mapped, it just didn't- it was not easy at all. Oh, Pyro, thank you for the host. Cauldron Keep was supposed to be a full level with Jiggies, but they ran out of dev time. Honestly, that's alright. This game is so full already, it doesn't need- it, it, they really didn't need another level. I also, I mean, just based on the theme, it feels like it may have been a little, a little repetitive uh, after Grunty Industries. I don't know. Alright, let's go. Okay, let's hope we don't need the baby dinosaur for anything else, because that would be a pain in the ass. Well, I had the same problem with the Grunty fight. When I streamed Banjo-Kazooie years ago, that fight took me ages, and it was glitched. But then when I streamed it again recently, I did it in like, what, two tries? That was alright. Okay. I mean, overall, it is much easier to do the aiming segments with the second stick. Get Mumble for Baby Dino too. What do you mean? We already did the Baby Dino. Let's warp back there. Okay, Big Dino time. Oh, for Scrunt! God damn it! That Baby Dino. Different Baby Dino. You're right. We gotta get Scrunt. Forgot all about you, Scrunt. I'm so sorry. Just do it now. The dino that gets laughed at by all the girls. Different baby dinosaur. Can you... Mumbo... <laughs> Poor Scrunt. Alright, now, the question is, where is- where the fuck is that cave? I don't remember which cave that is at all. It's gotta be close to here, they wouldn't do that to me. It's gotta be like- ah! Wait, what's that? Did I even go in that baby dinosaur cave? Oh man. It is near here. Uh, it's not- this area. It must be up here, maybe? It has to be somewhere Mumbo can get to, so it can't be, like, too platformy. Uh, 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 uh. Up here? I remember there was, like, a slope that Mumbo, like, kept sliding down. Uh, we haven't seen Dippy yet, either. Face Humbas and then go left through the tunnel. This one? <laughs> Kazooie would definitely swear if they let her. She probably swears a lot in Banjo's backpack. Mm, up here? This has got to be it. Right here. This has to be it. Bingo. Don't worry, baby. Umanaka. Hmm. Wouldn't it be really funny if there was still like a big rock on top of this that I forgot to break? And then I had to go back. <laughs> it would have been so funny. I'm sorry, small what? Sty- Styrosaurus? What was that? There you go. 
Thanks for beefing up my small child. <laughs> Perhaps he'll find a girlfriend now. <laughs> I bet you won't even speak to the dude who saved your life. I bet you'll be fucking... You'll be rude and won't say a word. Well, hey, I'm so big and all the girls want to go out with me. <laughs> well, at least you talk to Mumbo. I bet you won't talk to Mumbo. Oh, I do feel slightly unwell. Oh, wait. All right. Same thing. Will you talk to Mumbo? Sorry, but I'll only talk to Banjo. Why can't you just... What about you? Mom's purse is empty, but I fancy another visit to Witchy World. You're a little shit. You're a little shithead. <gasps> okay. Now we're done with Mambo. What's the fastest way back to my home? There's a teleporter outside Wumba Humba Wigwam. Mumbo, you're looking great. Where is Wigwam? And then there's also, we have to go see Dippy. Who's right near here. Maybe we should see Dippy on the way to the, uh, to the, to the big dino. What's this image? What is this picture of Mumbo that you posted, Desert? I don't like that very much. Where did that model come from? Because it's very scary and I don't like it. Dun, dun, dun. Mumbo looks perfect in this game. He's just the right amount of, of cute. That's the leaked smash render for Mumbo. Oh, perfect. That's what I was hoping it was. Okay, let's go see Dippy. Dippy Dino. I think we need big shoes, maybe? I was looking up Mumbo, Banjo, no mask. Did you find anything good? Oh, hold on. Well, this isn't gonna fucking work. I think I needed to be up there. Oh, it worked. Hi, Dippy. Oh! I'm so thirsty! Nice fucking- <laughs> So sad! <laughs> so thirsty! I need water badly! Why not go out and look for some then? It's not going to just drop out of the sky. The sun burns, poor Dippy, so I must stay in my cave. Please get me a drink! I'm so thirsty, Banjo! You gotta water me! I feel like I've used that joke too many times. How do I get this guy? Where's the switch to free you? Big dino switch. Well, I guess I don't have a choice then. Go. <laughs> if it was ba yeah, if it was Conquer, he'd just piss on him. This dinosaur is definitely bigger once you leave the wigwam. Oh wait, you know what? No, because the the wigwam is bigger. I forgot. I forgot that the whole building itself is bigger. Okay. What was that? I forgot about that. The little... <laughs> Great animation and sound effect. There you go. Uh-oh. Wait. Oh, fuck off. You really gonna make me do this? Go! Get in the wigwam! <laughs> We're not gonna make it. Go! We gotta save the Jinjo! 
Go, 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 go. Where? There he is. Woof. Okay, now back into the wigwam to turn into the T-Rex again. All you need to do with Daddy T-Rex is that Jinjo and to scare the cavemen. Is that it? There's no, like, other switches I have to hit or anything? Hmm. I just watched Shrek the Third and now I want to die. I only saw that movie one time and I remember hating it. Same with Shrek for... What, whatever they called it. Shrek for you. I didn't like that one either. Alright, where's the caveman I have to scare? Or you know what? I don't think I hated it. I just think I was indifferent towards it. I don't think I liked it. I think it was just fine. It was whatever. Is this dude I need to scare? Aye! That's scary. Me must go change loincloth. Is that it? Or is there more I have to scare? Erp. That's it? That's all you have to do? There's no other one you have to scare or anything? That also kind of feels like a waste of a transformation. You don't have to scare any other ones? You don't have to scare that one? Well, I guess that's one of the ones you need to blow up. I guess if you know what you're doing, then the T-Rex transformations aren't that big a deal. Holy shit, the platforming. The platforming! No! Why can't Banjo just fight Gruntilda like this? Alright, uh... You could just eat that egg. I wish this level was built left less vertically. Yeah, I don't know. I definitely think the further you get into this game the less I like the levels. Cloud Cuckoo Land's kind of alright, though, for some reason. Maybe it's because you have the freedom of movement of that bee. Okay, well, I guess we'll turn back into Banjo now. Go ahead. Whee! Hmm, okay. Now, well, we can't do, we, we get the water for Dippy in Cloud Cuckoo Land. Uh, there's that rock up there we've never broken. I guess we could go for that. I wonder if we can make the jump if we do this. Come on, Kazupi. Somehow I never realized Banjo was the T-Rex. Yeah, he is the T-Rex. What are my totals looking like? Beep! 5 out of 10, 2 out of 3, 2 out of 3, 2 out of 2. Alright, so I'm still missing quite a few things. Uh, God damn. Mike, do you not like... To no, I like totals. I don't know who told you I didn't like totals. But see, this is the thing, though. I was just wondering where I could look next, but then they give you this in this game, and I love this. This should have been in the original. This is so helpful. Fill the thirsty dinosaur's pool. Okay, I can't do that yet. Help the Styracosaurus's family. I can't do that yet. Warm up and get food for the Oogle Boogles. I can do that. Uh, hatch and return Terry's eggs. I can all, I can do that. Defeat the Rock Nuts tribe. I might be able to do that as well. 
That's so helpful in a game like this. Just little, like, hints, titles for the Jiggies is really, really nice. Especially in levels this big. Okay, uh, to hatch the eggs, we need to, to get Kazooie solo. Which, which is worse, Grunty Industries or Rusty Bucket Bay? Well, Rusty Bucket Bay is only really bad on the original version where you lose Jiggies if you die. And it's really just because of that fucking engine room. So, definitely Grunty Industries. Grunty Industries can take me, like, several hours to get through. Uh, Alright. I'm glad this is a thing. It's really frustrating to have nothing to go on. So, yeah, I think that was a big problem with the original. This was a, a very good change. I don't know if it's quite as major a change as not losing all your notes when you die, but... It's pretty major. I like the setting of Grunty Industries, and I like the music. It's just the the whole fucking navigating it is it's too much for me. It's too hard for my baby brain. Yeah, we have to do the stuff behind the waterfall, too. Hold on. Do I have any? I don't have any, do I? I got nine! Oh. What is wrong with your toe? Oh, I can make that jump. I could probably just shoot it over him, too, but I feel like it'll explode. <laughs> Fuck you. How do I get it over him? <laughs> Maybe I have to be on that platform. I don't know. Oh, that worked. Okay, I thought it was going to explode. I'll go shape of the pair, but still one of us left. Grunty Industries just has a lot. It has a lot you need to do. There's a lot of areas. It's just a lot. What's up here? River Passage. I still haven't even been to the Oogle Boogle Cave yet. Uh, Alright, well I guess we'll just swim upstream. I remember the rabbits being really annoying in Grunty Industries because not only do you have to find them all, but then you have to get to them with the washing machine. It's gonna be- we'll just make a whole stream night out of Grunty Industries. We'll just knock it out in one stream. That's like just as impressive to me as doing Banjo-Kazooie in one sitting. Grunty Industries 100% in one sitting. That should be all the notes. I think we were just missing 20. What move is that? I wonder if that's the backpack move. I have to- there's a dude- hold on. Is there a ledge there? Ah! I'm getting washed away! Just like the movie with the rats! Uh, yeah, there is a ledge. Hold on. Well, that's not the same ledge, but it's a ledge. That's flushed away. Yeah. <laughs> I don't think- I think I've seen- you know what? I have seen that movie. Wait, what is this? What is this possibly a hint for? It's exciting in the Oogle... What? I'm sorry, what? It's exciting in the Oogle and Unga Caves. What the fuck does that mean? Are you saying that there's eggs in there? Like pterodactyl eggs? Because we saw where all of them were. Oh wait, this is a banjo move. We saw where they all were. Can you do a sideways attack? Uh-oh. Wait a second. You can't do an attack. I wonder if we have to kill them with Kazooie first. They respawn so fast, though. Might as well just try it. Oh, they don't even... You can't kill them unless they're out? No, you can kill them. Is 
If you grenade them, they disappear. Oh, wait, hold on. Well, I don't have any grenade eggs. God damn it. I don't have any grenade eggs. Well, he's still not respawned. I think that this will be plenty of time. As soon as he respawns, I'll get rid of him again. All right, let's do this. This will be plenty of time. I'm just going to kill them both. This one first. Come on. What the fuck? Hmm. That one doesn't want to die. Come on, bitch. Where do you have to hit it? You don't need to even kill them to get past? Are you sure? I guess I could try it. You can just fake them out. Let's see. You can backpack hop. You can't jump out of a, a climb like that, so I don't think I can backpack hop it. Unless you mean backpack hop out of the water. Hold on. Can I do that? I can. Hmm. That feels sneaky and unintended, but I'm going to do it. Oh. <laughs> Love it. No, Kazooie means space in your pack. A way to fill it is what you lack. Pick a large things up off the ground. In they go and carry them around. That'll be all. Okay, so... We can actually grab the baby... The baby Styrinosaurus. Oh, but how do I... I don't think I could climb back up to that side. Unless... No, there's the ledge. I can do that. Um... We have to bring him to the train, and then bring the train to Ilo Hags, and then we can cure him there, right? He didn't say how to do it. I don't think you have to, like, press anything. I think it just happens automatically. We can also return the kid to his mom now at, at Witchy World. Let's keep swimming upstream. I don't know what's up here. Hey, it's your Uber driver. I'm outside. Get in my backpack. Is it a seed direction while crouched like the Wonder Wing move? Okay. Oh boy. Now what? There's a rock nut in there. Let's take care of him. Because that'll be the last rock nut. Come on. In you go. Die. Oh, do we have to go back in there now? Okay. Give me that, please. All right. Can't collect health. All right. That's one more jiggy down here, I guess. Uh, oh boy. This level's fucking huge. I feel like the more you collect, like the less there there is left, the more intimidating it gets. Okay, we have to find those. There's a lot of stuff we have to do split up. Kazooie needs to hatch all those eggs, and Banjo needs to bring that baby to the train. So, hmm. Which one should we do first? Yeah, the Clockwork Kazooie stuff and the Double Jump are both very fun to abuse in this game. I remember, I think the last time I played through this, I cheesed the uh, safe in Cloud Cuckoo Land with the Clockwork Kazooie Egg. I think you can just shoot it right through the, like, crack in the safe. I'm going to do that again because it's fun. 
Don't take fall damage. Thank you. All right. So the baby, the baby b dinosaur place is where? It's not through this tunnel. Where is the... Mumbo went there, and it's close to here. Isn't it, uh... Where's the Stegosaurus home? Maybe it is through this tunnel. I think it is. Hold on. Uh, yeah, it was up here. Okay. Let's just do this. We'll split up in here because this is... I don't know. This is where we got to first. All right, Banjo. There's split up pads in here, right? Right? Yep. Come on. Split up. Split. Actually, no. Banjo. Okay, get in the bag. Okay, get in. Oh. <laughs> Don't worry, ma'am. Okay, now where do we go? Well, we gotta get to the train. I just don't remember where the train is. Have you seen the ukulele dev commentary? I haven't. That sounds like something I would enjoy, though. Alright, the train station is... Let's guess it's that one. Some nice signs outside of these caves would be really nice. Worked out in my favor. Okay, kid, get in the train. Do you know where the train station is? There you go. Oh, I'm still feeling rather rough. Is this train going to a doctor? I don't understand. All right, I understand why... Like, Mumbo has to heal you. I understand that. But why do we need to leave the level to do that? I guess each of the Mumbo platforms imbues Mumbo with a certain power. All right, let's just switch to Kazooie from here. I don't understand why there's just glowing spots that let you switch, but that's okay. And the healing platform is outside of the level for some reason. Padding. Literal padding, because there's, like, pads on the ground that you have to use. Um, alright, so let's find those eggs. I think we can reach all of the eggs at this point, even though we don't have the glide move, right? We also don't have a backflip, but we do have access to the springy shoes. Yeah, being able to split at any point would be really nice. Oh, then there's these guys. H Hello. You should see someone about that stammer. N not st stammer. F freezing cold c cave. No central he heating. No food either. Unga Bunga tribe. Not guarded. Outside cave. Please warm up cave and give f food. You g g got Jiggy? Come on, Kazooie. <laughs> Kazooie's such a fucking asshole. Can at least do this one without Banjo, I think, right? There we go. There you go. Me warm, but still need food. Junk food, good. He's eating a fucking stick. Stop that! Spit that out! Kazooie can't do a drill move without Banjo. This goes to Witchy World, so we can get food here. Come on, Kazooie! Don't leave me in this world alone! That's sad. Alright, let's find those eggs. There's three or four of them. One of them's over here. I know one of them's in this lake. But let me just check in here real quick. One of them's in here, too, I think. Come on. You seem okay. Me let you in. What? Why are you just gonna let me in? I mean, <laughs> alright. 
think one of them is in here. Oh, this is the this connects to uh, Mayahem Temple. Right over there. I think there is an egg in here, though. Oh, we can't reach that. We can't reach that either. Well, I don't think there's anything I can do in here. Oh, come on, Kazooie. Oh, 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 oh. No, we can't do anything out there. We can't do anything in this dang cave. This is where you learn to hatch. I already learned to hatch. I don't think I need these shoes either. I don't see what I could do with them. I guess... Oh, wait. I could use a Clockwork Kazooie egg in there, maybe. And you can't backflip without Banjo. At least not now. Sorry, not coming in wearing silly shoes. Oh, that's how it works. Oh! Why would you do that? At least it warped Banjo back to me. Banjo was, like, in the train station, so that worked out, I guess. <sighs> I don't know where these fucking eggs are. One of I only know where one of them is, and it's in surrounded by water right here. That's it right up there, right? But I need a flight pad to get to it. Where did you spawn that flight pad, Terry? Was it up there? I think it's up on top of this. You need to go to Humba's and jump to the right to get the cave you need. Hold on, let me just check this out real quick, then I'll do that. Where the hell did you put the... Alright, I guess we'll go to Humba's then. Is there a warp pad right here? Yeah, I don't think I activated. Yes, I did. To the right of Humba's? Jump to the right to get to the cave you need. Uh, like, oh, there's, uh, shoes here. Come on, Kazooie. You got this, girl! Uh, what about in here? Egg? I don't think there's an egg in here. I don't think so. Maybe. Oh, wait. Yes, there is. It's back here. Let's go. Nope. That's one of my precious babies. Uh, isn't it cute? I can't see it very well, but... Okay, that's one. It really sucks not being able to do the backflip. I really want clockwork eggs. Come on. Don't do this. Alright, through here. What about over? They're in like, there's two in like cavemen caves, I think. I need to find a jump or a flight pad somewhere. I wonder if I could just jump to this one. I definitely could just jump to it. Fall damage won't affect you. Kazooie, it's right down there. Just land on the egg. Kazooie can flutter infinitely if you just hold A. Oh. Land on it. Land on it. Land on it! God. Damn it. <laughs> Fuck. Can I get a flight pad? Flight pad is on the pillar near the train station. Right. Okay. Ugh. I kind of had to fucking eyeball it, and it didn't work. Alright, well, now we're back at Humba's. I could use health. 
I would like this, please. Thank you. <sighs> Come on. You can't do a backflip without Banjo. I think you learn that in some... Don't you learn how to do a backflip as Solo Kazooie and it's, like, way higher? I gotta get back up there. I can do it. Alright, we can make it from here. We can make it from up here. We don't have to go all the way up. Just line it up. Just line it up. Got it. We 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 got it. Right on the egg. Perfect. There he is. He is very cute. Yeah, we've been streaming for three hours now. I was trying to finish Pterodactyl Land, and I think I should probably will, or at least all I can do for now. Uh, all right. Yeah, I was gonna do some fucking funny Windows 3 games tonight, but I couldn't get them to work, and I was, like, it, it, I ended up trying to figure them out for way too long, and I started late, so we're just doing Banjo. There's the flight pad. Let's jump to it. Come on, come on, Kazooie. You land on that flight pad! Thank you. Okay, more eggs. I just need two more. I don't know where they are, though. Uh... They're in... One of them's in that... Might be in that cave with the dude who wouldn't let me pass, right? They, like, emit cries, but they're, like, you can't fucking hear them until you're right next to them. Last eggs are in the cold caveman cave and at the center of the mountain. Right, one of them's inside. Hold on, we can get to that one right now. Okay, let's go over here. Actually, this might not be the right inside of the mountain. This is the wrong inside of the mountain. But there's that. I wonder if I can get that. Kazooie, you can get that. Come on. I didn't even know this was in here. Perfect. That worked out. Then this leads out here. But we can get into the mountain from over here, right? Okay, then there's a flight pad in here. But I might not even be able to get to it. Where is the flight pad? I need to get to it as Solo Kazooie. Oh, but there's this... How do you raise this fucking platform? Alright, I can get it. It's right there. Catch you later, QWERTY. Thank you for the help. There's one. Okay, so there's just one more, and it's in the cold caveman cave. Which I have to find again, because I got kicked out. I think once I hatch these pterodactyls, then I'll be done. That's one of my precious babies. It sure, it's going. He'll make it. Okay, just one more. I just have to fucking remember where that cave is. <laughs> Great sound effect. Alright. Where the fuck is Cold Caveman Cave? 
because I just got there for the first time not too long ago. Is it up high? It might be up high. Uh, you should have saved that one for last. Yeah, I probably should have because it's right up near Terry. Could you it's on the outer rim of the map. Uh, so, like, not up high? It's down low? Unless you're doing a bit. Isn't it the one with the guy that shits his, shits his pants was protecting? Oh, near the beginning? Or no, it was... No, the guy that the T-Rex scared away. Which was near here. Right? Get those eggs. Nope, wrong eggs. Well, I guess we needed grenade ones anyway. Let's start flying. That'll make it easier to find. What I want to know is where's the caveman? Maybe it was this one right here. This might be it, actually. Unless this is the train station, which I don't think it is. This is it. Okay, so it's in here. Where's Egg? What do you need? I can light this. There you go. Why are you guys so... Why don't you just leave the cave? Oh, he said someone was guarding it, but we got rid of the dude that was guarding it. Me warm, but still need food. Junk food, good. Yeah, we'll get to it. Later. D d d now we'll get the Jiggy from Terry, which I assume we might have to go back up to the top of the fucking place to get. Yikes! She's a big girl, isn't she? Too right, she can't even fly. Hmm, I'm not sure if there will be room in our nest. You couldn't just hit it with one of those grenade eggs, could you? You heartless. Only joking, bring her back to me and I'll work out it. Are you kidding me? It's a little big. Couldn't you just kill it? Actually, if I... <laughs> Great dialogue. But that's such a pain in the ass. Why are they making me do all this shit? It's not enough to just fucking... Make me find all the eggs. Then one of the fucking pterodactyls comes out too big. And then I gotta deliver it. Yeah, you gotta be fucked up for Kazooie to call you heartless. Maybe it's just like... The flying creatures in this game are fucked up. And the bigger you are, the more fucked up you are. Cause look at it this way. Kazooie's small. She's very rude. Then you got Canary Mary, who's larger than Kazooie and is ten times worse than Kazooie. And then you got Terry, who's bigger than that. And she says to kill one of her children. So, I think that works out. And you might say, but my Canary Mary isn't mean. But I feel like Canary Mary's very existence is mean. There you go. The bigger the beak, the more evil it holds. Oh, I need to drill this rock. But I can't put Kazooie in my bag because there's a fucking pterodactyl in it. You should be able to use the pterodactyl to fla like flap your wings and shit. Okay, so now I need to... If I'm correct, I need to bring this up to the top of the mountain with Solo Banjo. Which shouldn't be too hard because we're right here. Well, hold on. How do you even get up there with Solo Banjo? <sighs> teleport pad? But was there a teleport pad? Was there a location up there? Was there a warp pad up at, at Terry's nest? Maybe there was. I don't remember there being one, but... I hope I got it. Where's the nearest warp pad? I don't want to take fall damage. I was just going to jump down to find one, but I'm, I'm going to fucking die if I do that. This fucking poor pterodactyl in my backpack doesn't know what the hell's going on. There's one. Don't you die. Banjo. 
but that wasn't even... What are you? Who are you, Conquer? Top of the mountain. Bingo! Look what I got. A bouncing baby boy. Burlap, thank you for the sub. Here you go, Terry. <laughs> oh. They're so good. Oh, yes. Couldn't you just hit one of them with a grenade egg? That's what they do. Here you go. That's the last one! Thank goodness. Kazooie won't want to see another egg for the rest of the game. Here's the other half of your reward, as promised! That's just Toad. That's just Toad. Alright. Let's look at the big one. Can you talk? They can't even talk yet. They're so fucking cute. <laughs> okay. I'd say that's a good stopping point. I mean, we need to reunite Banjo. Well, let's just do this. There you go. Okay, well, that's the end of the stream. Uh, that was a little over three hours. Sorry for starting late and ending er like, well, I'm not ending early. I'm ending around the same time. Uh, but thank you for watching. You forgot a star coin at the top of the mountain. No. Okay, uh, welcome to, uh, welcome to, all right, I'm tired. Thank you for watching tonight. If you liked the stream, feel free to check out the rest of the streams on YouTube. You can find them just by searching Panute's Archive. Uh, it's a good way to uh, find out or find streams you might have missed. There's the old Banjo streams. Uh, we're currently also playing Mario RPG, which I just started the other day, as well as Half-Life 2 Episode 1. Um, if you feel like submitting art or want to follow me on social media, you can do so on Twitter at Mike Panutes. You can also, if you tweet art to me during the stream, as long as it's stream-related, I'll show it at the end. Uh, I think that's about it. All right, let's take a look at the art, and then we will be done for the night. Uh, first thing is this. Yeah, I will be playing the Resident Evil 2 remake. I don't think I'll be doing it as soon as it comes out, but very shortly after it comes out. Um, this first thing is by uh, Daisy on Twitter. I was so bored I drew this. I have, no, I have an idea what it is. It's beautiful art. That's what it is. I really like this a lot. I like the facial expressions. These are awesome. Thank you. Thank you very, very much, Daisy. Um, yeah, Hero, I, I will, I've remembered to do that. I'm going to show it at the end. Uh, this is by Arctic Spaceman. This is some... <laughs> He's got the fucking wrench instead of the crowbar. <laughs> this is really good. Thank you very much for this, Arctic. <laughs> That's great. That's really, really nice. Thank you. Um, this is by uh, Brendon or Brendan Snowball on Twitter. Oh, no. From the producers of the Sonic the Hedgehog. <laughs> no! God, I can't wait to see the, un the unsha unshaded version of the fucking sh Sonic poster. <laughs> That's really good. Thank you. Uh, this is by Dr. Professor Pineapple. <laughs> These are good. You brought back Gunjo. And you made him into a spy. That's perfect. That's perfect. Thank you. 
Uh, this is so fucking cute. This is by Game Boo. This is a Globo. Here's a reference image. <laughs> it's so cute! It's so cute. Good, good art. You got blood on my- Help! Uh, okay, yeah, there's one more thing that I completely missed the other day. If you recall, uh, the hero submitted what I wasn't sure if was a mod or just a mock-up screenshot of, uh, my logo character in, uh, Sonic Racing for Doom. What, what is it? I don't remember the name of the game, but it's like some Sonic racing game that was made in the Doom engine. And, uh, there were a lot more things. This was the thing I showed the other day. Um, but there were many, many, many more that I didn't see because they were all posted in the replies and they didn't show up when I clicked, uh, on my mentions. Uh, so yes, it is in fact a real mod. I have to send over some voice lines, but then I'm definitely going to be streaming it. Look at this. Look at this. I'm trying to, I'm going to get them all. I'm so fucking excited. This is the craziest shit. This looks like it took so long to do, like, this well. A lot of work went into this. I'm so excited. But yeah, I have to send over some voice lines, and I feel bad that I- Look at this, this one has the finishing thing. Look at this one. That's so good. I can't wait to play this. Yeah, I'm, I'm definitely gonna... I have to send over some voice lines, but I'll probably, you know, get around to streaming that at some point next week. So look forward to that. That'll be fun. I've also, like, been interested in streaming that in general. So it's cool that I have, like, a reason to now. Um, but that's it for the stream. Thank you very much for watching. I will catch you guys tomorrow night, I assume, uh, with some more stuff. Hopefully the games that I meant to stream tonight, tomorrow night. Um, also, there there is going to be a large-scale emote update, and that's it. Just keep an eye out for it. Many emotes will die, and new ones will be born. Goodbye. Thanks for watching. I appreciate it a lot. Thanks for subscribing, and thanks for watching, but your favorite emote may be gone tomorrow. Goodbye.